Hey everyone, it's Shane here with Ethereum Towers. Hopefully everybody had uh, a good time listening to today's AMA. And during that AMA, as you probably heard, we finished up our prototype. Now, uh, today I wanted to take you folks through a tech demo. Unfortunately, I can't do it live because as you heard during sort of today's AMA, I'm actually in San Diego. I'm about to join up on a panel for Chainlink. So uh, I thought I'd record a, a quick video to showcase some of the things that we've completed within our prototype phase, stuff like movement, as well as sort of the apartment building, which we'll touch on. We'll also navigate around sort of our, our nice residential floor, but uh, let's jump right into it. Um, with the prototype phase, when you first kind of spawn into the environment itself, you're, you're end up staring at sort of our elevator. And for all you UK people, I know it's the lift, but for us NA people and majority of people around the world, it's an elevator. Now, uh, from here, in terms of navigation or movement within Ethereum towers, you're going to use your left joystick. So on your left hand, the joystick, this will allow you to move forwards or backwards within the environment. Now, uh, as you probably heard there and kind of saw, uh, right now I'm currently in snap movement, which just kind of moves you little bits ahead and back, just short little interviews. It's a great way to start off in VR. Once you become much more familiar in the environment, uh, I would suggest moving it over to smooth movement. Uh, it makes everything feel a lot smoother, as you would guess. It almost makes it feel like you're walking within the environment. So. Now from there, you can turn by just actually moving your entire body and then you can start walking or once again, if you'd like, you can actually use your right thumb on the joystick on your right hand and that will also move you. Now as you begin to walk here, as you can see, we can see that a lot of the environment, the textures haven't been fully applied yet. You know, there's no numbers on the door yet. And as we come up to sort of the Sky Garden, which there's two of them, two of them. There's one actually on the far side, on the other side of the elevator, but over here, um, you know, there hasn't been complete textures applied to this area. The water does though look absolutely amazing right now. And as we step closer to sort of the uh, edge or the railing here, we can start to look outside. Woo. Long ways down there. We're actually on the 99th floor right now. And if we actually look across, we may be able to see uh, Boomer's apartment, maybe. His penthouse, It's it should be right on the top floor here. But uh, yeah, we can look over. I'm, I'm going to end up owning one of those yachts one day. But uh, yeah, that right there is sort of the beginning to uh, Ethereum Towers now. One thing I also like to point out is obviously during the AMA, we kind of chatted about the companion app and that companion app is going to become essentially the centralized hub for all things Ethereum towers. That's where you're going to find, you know, all of your apartment staking, your rewards, your current balance of your uh, tower token. Uh, you'll also find all of your different sort of apartment assets located within there. So that's going to be stuff like, you know, maybe furniture, maybe it's appliances, maybe it's wall textures, because right now it looks like a pretty bare, you know, sort of room within sort of a standard apartment. So you'll be able to adjust all that sort of stuff. Now, I have officially entered into a standard apartment. We can take a quick peek around here, as you can see. It's a nice size for even a standard apartment. We're, we're right now in sort of builder mode, so you can actually see the location grid located along the bottom here on the X and Y axis. This is where you'll be able to start to apply all your different walls. Now for building, it is very much so unbelievably easy. So what you're going to end up doing is just looking and then with your right hand, your right palm trigger, you're just going to click and you can start to begin to add walls. Now, once again, you guys can design these walls however you see fit. So if let's say you want to turn this into sort of your own private room, by all means. And if you want, you can add more walls here. Maybe I want to add a, a nice little place to enter there. Do, 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 do. We can do that as well. Now, one thing you should notate is looking at this, it is very much so a work in progress. Uh, if you don't necessarily like sort of that crash test dummy look 
by all means, you know, we're going to have different sort of wall and floor textures to go along with it. The other thing as well, hopefully I'm still actually staring at the screen somewhat. I don't have my back turned to you, but you folks are actually seeing exactly what I'm seeing right now. Um, you can turn your apartment into whatever you want. You know, if let's say you want to get rid of all of these, you know, walls, you can do that. Turn this into sort of like a wide open NFT gallery by all means. If uh, let's say, for example, you want to turn this into a podcast studio, uh, Ethereum Towers is working on a number of different sort of like standard packages that will work well within here. The other thing as well here, if let's say we want to turn this into maybe a lecture hall and you want to host a bunch of friends and you can talk about all things NFTs or all things security, by all means, the world is your oyster. Now, I do want to thank you all for watching this video with me here today. Um, we are trying to do something that nobody else is currently doing. So thank you so much for your understanding and your patience while we build this. Hopefully everybody is as excited as I am to actually get into Ethereum Tower, start playing around and exploring the environment. Um, why don't we finish today's, uh, I guess, video uh, with a nice little Easter egg. This is something that uh, it won't be available within sort of the real environment, but uh, for all those that don't like heights, whoa. We're falling. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, once again, it's a prototype. I, I like to do it. It's a little bit of fun. Kind of gives you that drop feeling. Um, but once again, thank you guys all so much for your guys' patience. Uh, I love you. And uh, until next time, bye-bye.